Hello everybody and welcome to another Pineapple Bites video training session. In this video training session we'll be reviewing a couple things. We'll cover smart items in Aloha as well as custom submenu panels. Primary reason for this video is to kind of help our clients out that maybe have liquor submenus that have quite a few buttons on them and they're looking to clean them up uh, to kind of narrow down the clutter and the amount of buttons that are showing up on the front terminals for the servers and bartenders. What this allows you to be able to do is be able to track single shots of liquor and double shots of liquor correctly with inventory while not having to add double buttons to each submenu. So what this does, typically a lot of people out there They'll have some menus on them called liquor. When the bartender clicks on that, they'll have a list of all their different types of alcohol, but they'll have double buttons for each type of alcohol as well. So it, it gets really cluttered, and sometimes you have to have multiple submenus because you run out of room of creating buttons on them because you just have you have to double up for all of your double items. So what this allows you to do is to just use the single item shots, but to be able to make them a smart item and be able to ring in the double shots as well and still track inventory through product mix. So the first thing we'll cover is in this example, I already have a couple of my items set up and ready to use, but we can review them together. If we go under maintenance, menu, items, and we're gonna go to the item number 5501, See here I have my standard Smirnoff white item. If I go to my modifier, I got my drink mix modifier on it, and I have my pricing set. In this particular instance, I'm using item level pricing. And I set the actual default price on the item itself under the pricing tab. If I go and I check out item number 5502, I have my double Smirnoff white item. So it's the exact same thing, except it's a double. Modifier still drink mix, but my pricing is a little bigger, obviously, because it's more expensive for a double shot smeared off white alcohol. So I have that set as well. So then what we're going to do from there is you still have to have your two separate items created. So you can't get by of just having one. You still have to have your, your two separate. So we'll go there and we'll close our items. Then we're going to go in and we're going to want to make a custom submenu panel. The reason why you have to make a custom submenu panel is in order to use smart items with Aloha, they have to be used with a custom submenu panel. You can't use smart items with your standard submenu that you use in Aloha. So what we could do in order to build a submenu panel, we have to go to Maintenance, Screen Designer, and our Table Service Screen Designer. From there, we're going to select Work with Panels. In this white area, you can right click and go New Submenu Panel. And over here, you're going to see it creates our new panel for us. You're going to need to put in a number for this. So you can just hit the, the three, little but, uh, three little dots here and just go ahead and pick first unassigned number. And then we're going to give it a name. So we'll call it Liquor. And then from here, you could just go ahead and right click inside of it. And we want to do a new button grid. So now we can specify how many, how many rows we want. So in this example, we'll do three. Three rows, we'll do three columns, and we'll do nine buttons. So we kind of have our grid here now. So now I can kind of resize this to be the same size as our submenu panel, we're pretty near the same size. So here we go now. So now I have kind of nine spaces or nine blocks that I can use. So what I'm going to do in my first, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to do a fill grid with buttons. And that's going to make all new buttons and it fills this grid automatically for me. My first one up on my left here. I'm going to go down over on the right and I'm going to make this action called Smart Select. My Smart Group I'm going to put as 1 and my Smart Element I'm going to put as 1. And then I'm going to change the name of the button itself and I'm going to call this Single. We can also do different background colors. So if I want to make, let's say, change the background color, I'll set the Custom. I can go ahead and pick a color saves that as well. 
Now on this block over here, I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to select this to be the same thing, Smart Select. For my group, I'm going to pick one, but my element this time I'm going to pick two, and you'll see why here in a minute. I'm going to go back up to the top here, and I'm going to call this Double. I'm going to change the background color as well. We'll make this one green. Now in the middle here, I'm going to create I'm going to put my Smirnoff white in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in that empty space. I'm going to go over to my action. And I'm going to set this as a smart item. Default item. I'm going to have this set as Smirnoff. So we can do find that item in here, 5501. I don't want to use button price. I want to use the item price. And then the items, I'm going to click here, and this is going to bring up our smart items, smart items screen. The group, I'm going to pick one. Element, I'm going to type in one. And I'm going to find that Smirnoff white single shot again. I'm going to change this to use item price. So it will automatically use that $4.99 I've attached to it. And then I'm going to do group number one again, but element number two now. And I'm going to find my double of that item I have created. And I'm going to put an item price on that as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the name of this button. So I'm going to call it Smirnoff White. So now I have my button there. And let's say I don't want to use these extra buttons. You can right click on them and cut them. To kind of clean it up a bit. <coughs> and now I got that built. I'm just going to hit File and I'm going to hit Close Panel Editor and I'm going to make sure I hit Yes to save this. We can close out of our screen designer. So now what we're going to want to do is since we've created that new custom submenu panel, we need to assign that submenu panel to an actual submenu. So you got to go to Maintenance, Menu, Submenus. And if we look at the current ones we have in this database, we already have a Shots and Liquors one. But this is your standard layout, you know, default submenu that you have at Aloha. We're going to add in our kind of custom submenu panel. So I'm going to hit New here to create a new submenu. And we're going to call this, uh, let's call it Smart Items. You know, you could call it liquor in your instance, but we're going to call this one Smart Items. <coughs> and for our submenu panels now, we're going to hit this drop down and we're going to, it links to the panels that we've created. We created one called liquor, so I'm going to associate that and hit save. You'll notice once I've assigned the submenu panel to the submenu, the layout tab disappears because we're not working with the traditional layout anymore. We've linked it to that custom submenu panel that we've created. Now that I have my new submenu created, I need to make sure that that new submenu that I just made is attached to my menu. So I gotta go to maintenance, menu, menus. I'm gonna go to my layout here of my main menu. I only have one menu in this database, but if you have multiple, you'll need to make sure you add it to each or the appropriate ones it needs to be added to. So I'm gonna just say main. I'm gonna go down and find a blank item here. So I got a, nine, a blank spot under beverages. Just click here, and then I'm going to go under my submenu, and I'm going to go and find my smart items that I made. I'm going to save that now. So now I have that new submenu I created attached to my menu. So now I'm just going to close out of these screens, make sure everything's saved here, and I'm going to push down a refresh to my terminal. So I'm going to take these changes I've just made to the database, I'm going to push those down to the terminal. So then we'll be able to show you what it looks like now on the front of house software for the bartenders and the servers. Now this is going to take a couple minutes for this to push through. Okay, 
Now let's open up my program here where we can see the terminal. So we'll just let it load up its Aloha software. All right, so we got it loaded up here. So now what we can do is we'll just go ahead and log in here. Just open up a table. We'll go down and we'll find our smart item submenu. So now you can see here, so like here's our generic kind of your default submenu layout you would have, uh, and here's the new custom submenu we've created. So you see we got our two big buttons, three big buttons there. Um, so in this instance now, we have the ability to ring in a Smirnoff white single shot and a Smirnoff white double shot without actually having to create two separate items for the Smirnoff. So we can do, if we want to ring in a single shot of Smirnoff, you can do it one of two ways now. You could just hit the Smirnoff white itself and that will ring in this the single shot item. Or you can select single and then Smirnoff white and that will also do the same thing as well. So what you could do is if you don't want to use up a button for single, you don't have to program that single. You could get rid of that and just have the a larger double button up here for say and then have the rest of your alcohol listed. So then what you could do now is if you want to ring in a double, we just have to simply click on double and then smear it off white. And now it automatically links to that double smear it off white item we have created for $6.99. And we can pick our mix for that as well. So that's a great way on how you can create a custom submenu panel, as well as utilize the smart items in Aloha to be able to cut down on the amount of items and buttons that you need to program on each submenu. Hopefully someone learned something from this video today. And we helped somebody out. If you have any other questions or concerns about this particular feature or any other feature with Aloha that you might be looking to do, feel free to give us a call at our support desk, which is 1902 481 0555, extension 1, and then extension 1 again. And if you're looking to send us an email, you can reach out to service at pineapplebites, with a Y, dot CA. Have a great day. Thank you.